hello out there first I'd like to welcome my two new subscribers don't know their names but I welcome and thank you and today first with the housekeeping uh, I'm smoking some GLPs Robusto out of my Molina Walnut one of my favorite blends Okay. I'm trying to um, participate in more of the BRs when I can. Maybe do pose a few. Create a few. And just a little moment, Randy ask me. What are your hobbies and interests in outside of the pipe smoking? Okay, well. I guess for me that's a little bit broad. Well, one of the things I haven't had time to do here for a while. It is go out and shoot. Go out and plink, maybe a little bit of target shooting or whatever. Oh, I enjoy it. And I'll occasionally hunt. Usually it's a small game. I don't have haven't had time to really seriously hunt. And I do like reloading some of my own ammunition. Uh, I don't use what they call a progressive stage re reloader. Mine, you can just sit in a, wherever and just start the process of reloading. I have this little Lee hand loader here. Works like a single stage. You just screw in your dies up here or the priming, resizing. And you can, on the next die, they have a die which I don't really use for, help, for help, helping you charge, put it on a charge, but it's clumsy to use. I just do it by hand, do that part by hand. I use a scoop and um, a funnel, and when I have to, uh, I got a scale for measuring out the charge. And for seating your projectile bullet. And for crimping. I mean, I just do some handgun ammunition. And that's for my own use, um, 357 and 38 special. I've got several hundred rounds. I have had it reloaded almost a year ago. Well, eight months ago, I guess. And here's one of them right here. One of my 357s. That was among my last batch. 125 grain. And I do some shot shell reloading. I have done a little bit of smokeless with shot shell, but mainly I do black powder with them. And I got a reloader. Um, that's about oh, it's well, well over a hundred years old. I remember mean, it's a Bridgeport Avenue. Taken it out in a while and used it. Yeah, I was put like usually 80, around 80 to 100 green black powder and just load up my shot. And I also make my own wads. 
and just go to town with it. A lot of fun. Now I also do um, brass shot shells. I like the feeling of loading, really loading by hand, the way it was done in the 1800s when cartridges became more common. Yes, they did back then. You could buy them by the box, like you can today. But in some places it was expensive. And you're more likely to find the components. Your primers, powder, and lead. So a lot of men had to, had to load their own. Back in the days of the Old West. And yeah, some of the other things I do, of course, I read. Uh, back when I was younger, I read a lot more horror fiction. Now I don't really, I barely ever read them anymore. I'll read adventure stories, maybe a western. Uh, a lot of your old mystery and detective stories. And I'll read, and every so often I'll read some of the classics. I have read, um, oh, just one play of Shakespeare's, and that was Macbeth. One of my favorites, and I've read it twice. Once when I was a kid, and once a few years back. And that's Taurus Bulba. And by the way, Taurus Bulba is one of my favorite fictional characters who smoked a pipe. He was a die in the wool pipe smoker. And I also read some nonfiction. I read a lot of history. Uh, I, even though I haven't done it for quite a while now, I don't mind. I, yes, I do like to fish. And uh, also, this is something that my wife and I enjoyed a lot. We haven't done this one, done this for a while. <coughs> Was go out, do a little treasure hunting on um, at the flea markets, junk antique, junk mall, whatever you want to call. It. Sometimes we come come across some real finds. I have gotten a couple of my pipes out. Of, out of those places, my first Peterson. And um, I've gotten a few, not they're not too old, Dr. Grabo's. And one that was goes back to the, say the mid 60s, um, maybe the, yeah, early 60s, is a Dr. Grabo Westbrook. Had it was never smoked, and it still is in the original box it was shipped in. That one, that one was a real fine. And it cost me only six bucks. I'll have to bring it out on all my videos sometime. Love it. And I just like to go out and explore woods, towns, whatever. I'm bad as a nosy cat. And sometimes I have to do more videos get, getting out. And I also just like, just like being with the wife and like hanging out at a park or whatever. Just having a relaxed, peaceful day. Okay, I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you for dropping in.